In her weekly one-on-one -on -one with 12 News Today, Governor Gina Raimondo said more restrictions appear imminent as we approach the holiday season. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Despite appearing poised to implement a stay-at-home order, the governor is standing firm on schools, saying full remote learning is not on the table. Our Kim Kalunian joins us now with the interview you'll see only on 12 News. While the Rhode Island Department of Health tells 12 News it is almost impossible to pinpoint exactly where people are contracting COVID-19 right now, the governor remains confident that the spread is not happening inside of schools, signaling any major restrictions she announces in the near future will not move kids out of their classrooms. At this point, I don't see how we can get to the end of the year without some additional restrictions. In her weekly interview with 12 News, Governor Gina Raimondo would not yet say whether she'll be announcing a Thanksgiving stay at home order at her press briefing on Thursday. Could anything change that decision before you announce it on Thursday? It sounds like that's where we're headed. You know, the, the, like I said, we have to make some additional changes. You know, like you see the mayor of Providence put the social gathering limit down to five. I certainly support that. The thing that's weighing on me is um, closing businesses, and I am going to do everything I can to avoid that or put it off as long as possible. But it, I may not have that option given the trend that we're on with hospitalizations. The latest data shows hospitalizations have now climbed to 265, the highest they've been since mid-May, as the state now readies field hospitals in both Cranston and Providence. We could open them next week, we could open them the following week. Um, it's, it's definitely in the next couple of weeks to be sure, and we're going to need both of them. Despite the second wave of cases and calls from teachers unions to pause in-person learning, the governor said she is not considering ordering all Rhode Island schools to move to distance learning. There are studies which show there's no correlation between when schools are open in person and the rate of spread. So at this point, I just the data is not there and I know the kids deserve and need to be in school. And on the vaccine front, the governor says she reached out to executives at Pfizer to see if the state could be part of its pilot program. And while she says it does not mean that the state will receive the vaccine any sooner, she does believe it will give Rhode Island a leg up in planning. You can watch our full conversation right now on WPRI.com. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.